The Giants will take on the Dallas Cowboys in week one of the NFL season on Sunday Night Football. We're going to be live on the channel, so make sure you are subscribed. But before we dive into my keys to victory for this game, I want to hear from you. Who do you got in week one? Is it the New York Giants or is it the Dallas Cowboys? Predict which team will be victorious. Type G for the Giants, type D for Dallas. Let me know what you think. Giants, Cowboys, Sunday Night Football, Week 1. Have you heard that story before? Because in my 28 years of living, I feel like I've experienced half of my life. It's always Giants, Cowboys, Week 1. And if the Giants want to beat these fools, big number 99 has to step up. So you look at the betting odds in this ball game. The Cowboys enter as the favorites. They're three-and-a-half point favorites against the Giants. The total over-under is 46 and a half. So Vegas is telling you they're expecting for points to be put up on the board. And kind of my thought process is if the Giants want to win this game, they need to find a way to hold the Cowboys to under 24 points. I think that's the sweet spot. I think if you do that, you're going to be a good spot to go 1-0 and once again like you did last year against the Tennessee Titans. Let's dive into my key, five keys to victory. Number one, and this might sound like chalk. This might sound like chalk. Start fast. If you watched Giants football last year, you know that the Giants were one of the slowest starting teams in the National Football League last year. I mean, when you look at their average points for, per first quarter, all of last year, the Giants on average scored just 2.8 points per game in the first quarter. That's 28th in the NFL. Why is it important to start fast? Because the Cowboys were one of the best starting teams in the NFL last year. In that same first quarter average, the Cowboys averaged 5.1 points per game, which was seventh in the NFL. But it's not just why you need to start fast in the first quarter. You need to do better just overall as an offense in that first half. The Giants averaged just 8.8 .8 points per game last year in the first half which was 27th in the NFL. Compared to the Cowboys, they averaged 13.1 points per game in the first half, which is ninth in the NFL. All those stats bring me to this point. If you're able to start fast, if you're able to put points on the board early, you can turn the Dallas Cowboys offense into a one-dimensional functioning engine. Because when Dak is at his best, it's when he can drop back and he's unpressured and he can throw it all over the yard. He can hand it off to Tony Pollard. He can throw a swing pass to Pollard. But when they're playing from behind the Cowboys, the defense of the Giants can pin their ears back, put pressure on Dak. If you start fast and you have a similar first drive like you did in the Week 2 preseason game against the Carolina Panthers, Giants are going to be in a good spot. The biggest on-field key for me, though, is this. Protect Daniel Jones. You have to find a way against the Dallas Cowboys defensive line that features Micah Parsons, that features Demarcus Lawrence. You have to find a way to keep number eight upright in the pocket because you weren't able to do that last year. Um, the Cowboys have one of the best pass rushes in the National Football League. I believe they were top five in the NFL in sacks in the 2022 season. And when you talk about the lack of protection that Daniel Jones had last year versus the Cowboys, the Cowboys had eight sacks, eight sacks in the two games against the Giants last year. You're not going to be able to win games if your quarterback is constantly under pressure, constantly under duress, having to buy time and run out of the pocket, being chased down by Micah Parsons, chased down by Demarcus Lawrence. The Giants allowed eight sacks versus Dallas. In 2022, that's a problem. You can't do that again. You simply can't. And you know who I'm looking at? I'm looking at Evan Neal. Evan Neal struggled tremendously last year against the Dallas Cowboys. He, he wasn't able to protect and, and block Micah Parsons. He wasn't able to protect and block Demarcus Lawrence. I mean, I don't want to see this again. I don't want to see... Daniel Jones being absolutely terrorized 
by the Dallas Cowboys pass rush. And last year, they were able to do whatever they wanted to do. Dan Quinn dialed up pressure after pressure, and he found ways to end up with a result like this. I don't want to see that anymore. I don't want to see Evan Neal looking back at Daniel Jones and say, hey, you need help off the ground? You need help getting the turf out of your helmet? You need help cleaning off the blood of your elbow? I don't want to see that anymore. And if the Giants have any more plays like this this year, you are going to be in a world of trouble. I believe Andrew Thomas is going to hold his own. I think John Michael Schmitz is going to be solid in his first game in the NFL. The interior pass rush for the Cowboys doesn't really scare me. But 73, I think he's a big key in this game. Show him some love. Stand up for our second-year right tackle. Former number seven overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Type those 73s and stand up for Evan Neal. Show him some love. I know an offensive tackle is a big piece of an offense. And if he can be good this year, this offense is going to be special. I really, really do believe that. Show, type those 73s. On the defensive side of the ball, a big key. Get pressure on Dak Prescott. If you let Dak just sit in the pocket and methodically sit back there with no thought of being hit, and he's throwing it to CD, and he's throwing it to Brandon Cooks, and he's finding Tony Pollard, he's finding the tight ends, he's hitting Michael Gallup, you're going to be cooked. You have to find a way to put pressure on Dak. Because when you do, when you make him come off his first read, he's not the same quarterback. Dak's a good quarterback. I'm going to admit that. I mean, look, the Cowboys have been one of the best teams in the NFL consistently since Dak has been there. But 15 INTs last year, and he missed time. 15 INTs for Dak last season. If you are able to stop Dak, if you're able to put pressure on him, he will have turnover-worthy plays, and you better catch the ball, Adoree Jackson, when he hits you in the chest, unlike last year. It's on these guys, though. Kayvon Thibodeau, stand up. Leonard Williams, stand up. Dexter Lawrence, stand up. Ashawn Robinson, stand up. Aziz Ojolari, stand up. Boogie Basham, what are you going to do? in your first game uh, for the New York football Giants. Will Jordan Riley get any run? Will Rakeem Nunez Roches be in there? Will Jihad Ward get some pressure? You need one of these defensive linemen to take over, be a havoc creator, be a disruptor, and be in the grill of Dak Prescott 24-7. If you let Dak just sit back in that pocket, you're going to be in a world of each other. A world of trouble. Another guy I want to see coming off the edge, putting pressure on number four, number 19 for Big Blue. I need Isaiah Simmons to put pressure on Dak Prescott. Wink Martindale, if you're watching, put 19 on a blitz. Six foot four, four three forty, 245 pounds. We saw what he did in the game against the Green uh, New, New York Jets in the preseason. One pass rush rep, one QB pressure, forced him to a throwaway. I want 19 coming off the edge. Same side as Kayvon Thibodeau. That's a lot, a lot of speed, my man. A lot of speed. Got to get pressure on Dak. We'll talk more about my keys to victory in a second, but I got to tell you about our awesome sports book partner, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code chat125, and they are going to match your initial deposit bonus of up to 125 Meaning, you put 100 bucks into your account, they'll match it. And then you'll have up to 225 bucks to bet with. But to get the deal, you got to do these two steps. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. And do it with our proud sportsbook partner, BetUS. The Giants are underdogs in the week one against the Cowboys. I'm a big dog. I'm betting money line. Giants money line. Let's get to it. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. A big key for the Giants' offense this year, and specifically in this game, create explosive plays. Find a way to push the ball down the field. Find a way to create more chunk plays. I think this is a very interesting stat. This isn't just a giant stat. This is a stat of across the whole National Football League. Let's look at it. If you 
of all 32 teams, this is all the data that was collected. If you had one play on a drive of more than 15 yards last year, you had a 51% chance of dancing in the end zone and the ref going like this. If you did not have a play of 15 plus yards, you only scored on 5.9% of those drives. And why does that matter for the Giants versus the Cowboys? Cowboys have one of the best defenses in the league. You can't be a scare, you can't be scared to attack downfield. You can't be scared to throw the ball deep to Darius Slayton, to Jalen Hyatt. Where are the double moves? Can I get a double move on Trayvon Diggs? Can we get a pump fake and I see Jalen Hyatt take Diggs up the sideline? You can't be scared because with the Cowboys having one of the best defenses in the NFL, they were a top 10 scoring defense last year, it's going to be hard to piece together drives. They allowed just 19 points per game last year. Fourth best in the NFL. They are a good defense. It's going to be hard to go first down after first down after first down after first down. Can we get an easy touchdown? Can we get a Slayton backside post? Can we get a Paris Campbell get loose? Can we get a Jalen Hyatt stop and go? Creating big plays will be paramount if this team wants to walk out victorious and be 1-0 going into week two against the Cardinals. The most chalky of the chalk. Don't beat yourself. When you're the underdog, you got to do the little things. Win the turnover battle. Be the better special teams team. Win time of possession. Win the, win the, field, uh, win the uh, field advantage battle. You have to find a way to not beat yourself. Take care of the ball. Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. You were great taking care of the ball last year. But the two most important words I just said were last year. Do it again this year. He has to take care of the ball. He's going to be under pressure. He's going to be sacked. You can't allow a bad play turn into a horrible play. You can't have a sack turn into a strip, strip sack. You also have to win in the special teams. Execute. No special teams touchdowns. I can't have Cavante Turpin take a punt or a kickback for the Dallas Cowboys. You have to be good in the special teams department. I trust in Graham Gano. No doubt about it. Jamie Gillen, I can't say the same. I am worried about our punter situation right now for the New York Giants. So, I need Gillen to be good. Also, when Dak Prescott gives you the opportunity to create a turnover-worthy play, do it. Take advantage of turnovers. If there's a turnover, go put up seven instead of three. You get inside the red zone. Let's get seven. Losers settle for three. And if the Giants settle for three more than seven on Sunday night against the Cowboys, you're going to walk out 0-1. Don't beat yourself. Take care of the football. S pressure on Dak. Do the little things. And the Giants are going to come out victorious. We're going to be going into week two, 1-0. Predict the score for me down below in the comment section. I want to, want to hear from all of you. Giants, Cowboys, week one, Sunday night football. Everybody's eyes are going to be on us. Predict the score. Let me know what you think down below. As always, just want to say thank you, and I appreciate everybody for tuning in to Giants Now by Chat Sports. If you haven't yet, give me a follow on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore.